Mounting V and lip packings. Before starting assembly, prepare the work area and ensure all tools required are available. This would include a fitting iron and, if applicable, half bearings and a hydraulic hoist as auxiliary tools. Prior to mounting, measure the height of the packing set at several circumferential positions. The average value minus 2% equals the dimension L of the housing. Adjust the length of the housing to equal this L measurement by choosing appropriate gland shims. V sets and lip packings with a diameter of 400 mm and larger are supplied in open condition and are oversized in length. The seal sets must be cut to the specified size just before installation. Do this in the order the seals fit in the gland. Begin with the pre-cut support ring by placing it firmly around the plunger. Mark the excess length and cut the ring to size at an angle of 90 degrees. Since the working position of the support ring is centered within the V-ring, the necessary gap allowance is generated automatically. Remember, while establishing the cutting mark, the support ring was tightly wrapped around the plunger. Next, take an open 60-degree pre-cut V-ring and place it firmly around the plunger. Now mark the longitudinal allowance in length starting at the tip of the lip according to the spacing indicated in table number 1. This table can be found in the mounting instructions or in the brochure which can be found on the Merkel homepage. Starting from this mark, draw a line being perpendicular to the back of the packing's lower end. Now draw an additional line from the starting point of the line at the lower end of the ring at an angle of 60 degrees. Please take care when cutting that the cut edges exhibit gap-free mating while taking the banding radius of the installed position into account. Repeat this procedure with the remaining V-rings. The pressure ring is fitted in the same way. And always add the necessary longitudinal allowance in length here as well. If a plastic backup ring is included in the scope of delivery, it must be cut to the appropriate size at an angle of approximately 45 degrees. The cutting clearance should not exceed plus or minus 0.5 millimeters. If two backup rings are included, the second ring has to be cut slightly longer due to its position at the outside diameter. Remember to add the longitudinal allowance in length prior to cutting. This allowance is according to table number 2 in the mounting instruction. Rub all packing rings with special purpose grease before installation. This will reduce friction considerably and greatly facilitate your installation operations. Please take care that the sealing edges are not damaged during assembly. The plunger must be positioned inside the housing. During mounting, each ring is inserted into the housing individually with a butt joint first. Then you should press on the point opposite the butt joint in such a way that the loop resulting from the over length will lie evenly over the entire circumference of the seal ring. This will ensure that the seal ring can be pressed relatively easily into the housing despite the over length of the seal. Should a loop be formed over a short distance only, assembly will be much more difficult. Once the entire circumference is inserted, the ring should then be pressed simultaneously to its final position. This is best accomplished by means of auxiliary mounting devices such as half B-rings and a hydraulic hoist. When mounting the individual rings, please make sure that the butt joints are offset by 120 degrees respectively. For correct initial tension of the V-packing set in the housing, the tension should be as low as possible while maintaining leak-free operation. If the preset height according to the L measurement results in leakage, remove the thin gland shims one by one until leakage ceases. Proceed in small steps. If the initial tension is chosen too high, the resulting generation of high temperatures may lead the premature wear of the packing set.